Hey friends, today I'm going to be doing a complete pantry makeover. If you need the motivation to organize your pantry, this video is going to give you all of the motivation you need. And I'm also going to go step by step and I'm gonna make it so easy for you to go right now and organize your pantry on a budget. I did this entire project for super cheap and you have to see the dramatic transformation. It was unbelievable. Hey guys, this is my sister-in-law, Tiffany. Hey there. <laughs> so I just came over, I brought Avery, and we are going to be tackling her pantry. Her and her husband and her daughter, they just moved into a new house, and she has requested me to come in and organize, declutter, and do it all in her pantry. So I'm really excited. We've already done all of the pre-work. We went shopping, um, kind of figured out what we need to get. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So again, this is what we are working with. Um, they just moved in, so things are a a little messy um, and I told her I would come in and take care of it so like I said we already did all of the pre-work um, we went shopping this is everything I already went shopping for so mainly everything is from the Dollar Tree a few things from Walmart and one thing from Amazon but it's all super cheap and if you guys stick around after I deep clean, declutter, and get everything out. I'm gonna be removing everything from here um, and then cleaning it. And then when I start organizing it, organizing everything, I'll show you how I do it, the steps, and how I do all of that. So if you're wondering, where should I start? My pantry's a mess. I don't know even where, where to begin, where to start. I'm gonna give you super simple, easy steps on how to get started and organize your pantry on a budget because I did all of this assuming it all goes like I plan for about $50. So super cheap, steps are super easy, so I'm gonna make it e easy for you. I'm gonna show you how to get your pantry clean and organized. So here in a minute, I'm going to go into more detail about all of the pre-work that I did before. But on this actual day, I first went in and cleaned everything out. So you want to go in when you're organizing your pantry to first remove everything from the area so you can go through everything individually and get rid of anything that is old or expired and also give everything a really good deep clean in your pantry because you are likely not going to be going in there and removing everything for quite some time so make sure you give it a good deep clean I also think it's key to get rid of a lot of boxes and containers because those just take up so much space in your pantry. Obviously with their pantry space is not an issue, but for my personal pantry, it's a lot smaller and you may have a smaller pantry. You want to get rid of boxes and containers. It will save you so much space. I'll show you what I do because my pantry is much smaller and we have a shoe rack on our pantry door and that allows us to use, get rid of a lot of boxes and also utilize space that would otherwise be empty so it just makes her pantry a lot bigger than what it really is I know it looks like a huge, huge mess, and I started to get a little bit nervous when I saw everything out here, and I was just hoping that my vision would come together. And let me just give you a little spoiler alert. It turned out perfectly, and I was so, so, so happy with the amazing transformation. And even better, I did it all for a really good price. Okay, so before I even showed up at her house, what I had my sister-in-law do was kind of take inventory of her pantry. You know, this helps you go shopping, know what you need, know how much of what you need. You know, I didn't want to waste my time and not have enough storage containers or have too many. So this is going to be different for everybody, and it depends on what your family keeps in your pantry. So I had her go through and group things that were alike. So stuff for their toddler, I had her group. Baking stuff, I had her group. Chips, 
sides like macaroni and cheese and rice, cans, cookies, and other sweets. So you basically want to group all things alike and then that way you know what type of containers you'll need for what you have. And then I decided what type of storage containers she would need based on the specific foods and the groups that she had. For example, they had a lot of cereal. So I wanted to make for sure I got cereal containers. If you don't eat cereal, you don't have it around, you're not gonna need cereal containers. I got a number of baskets for everything. So you wanna take inventory of what you have and then group those things. Ultimately, that way when you go shopping, you know exactly what you're looking for. You can reduce the time spent shopping. You're in and out. I first went to the Dollar Tree and because it's the cheapest store possible and got what I needed. And if I couldn't find something or if I wanted something different for what she had in there, then I went to Walmart and then I went to Amazon. But the shopping part was the easiest and quickest and I didn't have anything left over. And so there wasn't any waste. I didn't have to make any returns and I had the perfect amount of stuff when I was actually doing the organization. Okay, so after I had my sister-in-law take all of the stuff in their pantry and kind of group it together, then I went shopping. So the goal first is to go to the Dollar Tree because we're trying to keep this on a budget. The Dollar Tree has a lot of good things. So I went there first, got as much as I could. So I got these baskets. Um, these are amazing, but I'm gonna tell you that they are not easy to find at all. So luckily we have a lot of Dollar Trees within the city that I live in. So I was able to get what I needed, um, but they have, have them in a lot of different colors, but we wanted the white ones. So I got these. I also got some of these, they're called locker baskets. For these, if you watch my channel, you know I have a ton of those all over my house. I also got these jars. I thought they were pretty cute. They had a lot of different jars that you could use for organization at the Dollar Tree. So I just got two of these. And then um, I got this from Amazon. I've had it for a while. I'll try to find it and link it below. Some chalk labels. You can also get these from the Dollar Tree, but um, I got these from Amazon and I got a lot in there. Um, I got these from the Dollar Tree. I got these from the Dollar Tree. They come with those lids, those baskets from the Dollar Tree. The only things I got from Walmart. So I went to the Dollar Tree and then when I, when I had, when I needed specific things that I knew I couldn't find at the Dollar Tree and they weren't big enough, I got these canisters um, from Walmart. And I believe they were like $2.47 a piece. So super cheap and then the other thing I needed was cereal containers, and um, I got these from Amazon. I got four for, I think they were $24, so by far the most expensive thing was from Amazon, but Walmart also had these cereal containers, and they were cheaper at Amazon. So I kind of price matched everything, so it's just nice to go through, figure out what you have, what you need, and what sizes. Like, okay, so these are, you know, similar, um, the stuff that I knew would fit in here, I got here, but then there were some things that I knew these were too small for. So I went with these, and these are a little bit more airtight. They're screw top, and even though these, you know, snap on really good, I don't think they're as airtight as something like this or this. So I think depending on what you're using it for, you know, you can kind of decide, but it's like, I'm not going to put cereal in something like this because I don't think it will keep as fresh and I don't want the stuff to go stale. It's going to be wasting money. So yes, group everything together, know what size you need, know what size your pantry is, and then go shopping at Dollar Tree, Walmart, and then Amazon. And Walmart is nice because pretty much anything you can find in store, you can find online so you can get an idea of what you need before you even go in the store. And then while we had everything grouped together in the kitchen, I kind of put all of the storage containers in their pantry. I wanted to figure out how they would all sit into the pantry. I had my idea of how it would go, but I wanted to see it visually before I actually put everything in the containers. 
keep in mind that when you're doing this, things that we she used a lot, I wanted to be more on eye level and maybe things she didn't use on a daily basis could go up higher or lower. And then once we had everything in the pantry, I got to putting the actual food into the proper containers. So again, if you're doing this, you wanna keep in mind things like cereal. If cereal is going to go stale, you, you wanna make for sure you get a good container. So although organizing on a budget is always ideal, sometimes you need to get really good containers for whatever you have. So I spent some more money and got really good cereal containers because I didn't want their cereal to go stale. These containers from the Dollar Tree do, they do close and they don't expose air to whatever is in those into the container but it's not airtight so i put things like rice and noodles in there because i knew they would be okay in the dollar tree containers in the past i have tried to go super cheap and get everything from the dollar tree and it just wasn't sustainable and not something that really worked for long term so keep that in mind as well I thought these glass containers would be perfect for things like goldfish crackers and baby oatmeal because it's nice to know when you're getting low on this type of stuff. I know personally being a mom, I like to know when some of my kids stuff is getting low so I can always make for sure I have that stuff on hand because there are some things we know we don't want to run out of. So I thought putting goldfish crackers in the oatmeal in these clear jars was perfect. And then with these pouches and granola bars, I thought they would be perfectly lined up like this because there again, when their daughter is old enough, she can just go into the pantry and get things like this for snacks. Okay, so I know it looks like a jumbled mess, but I feel like it's organized chaos. So what I did was, now that we have everything kind of placed in the pantry, I went back and I organized everything. I know it doesn't really look like they're separated, but I did. So you have, let's see, this would be the baby stuff. We have some baking stuff, um, bread and tortilla shells, um, crackers, extra rice like macaroni and cheese stuff um some candy that they have so i kind of grouped everything um and then then i'm gonna go in and place them in all of the bins separately It's also really nice to go shopping and have a number in mind of baskets and storage containers that you need because there isn't any waste and it just gives you a plan when you're going shopping. It makes shopping, at least for me, a lot quicker. I just popped into the Dollar Tree and was in and out in about 10 minutes because I knew exactly what I needed and I knew how much of everything that I needed. Same thing with Walmart and then I obviously just ordered everything offline from Amazon. I think labeling everything is super, super important with sustaining your organization projects. I know personally having kids and a husband, they may not be as disciplined when it comes to organization. So I know that if things are labeled, then my husband and oldest daughter are much more likely to put things where they go because everything is labeled. And I had meant to use the chalk labels that I got off of Amazon, but I just didn't like my handwriting. I don't have the best handwriting. So I wanted to use my label mate 
maker and it actually turned out really well because I took the labels from my label maker and put them on the chalk labels and it just kind of popped a little bit better on the white baskets. Okay, here is the finished product. Okay, so we don't have all of their other stuff. Uh, my sister-in-law is going through all of those little appliances and other things that she had in here. Now, obviously there's plenty of room to put that stuff, but she is decluttering, going through things, seeing which things she can get rid of, and we will only put the essentials back in here. But I'll go through and show you everything. So this is our cereal and pancake mix. Again, I got these from Amazon. They're airtight. And the reason why I wanted to make for sure we got these is because it's just easier to be able to pour cereal. And that's what you do. You're pouring it. Same thing with pancake mix. It's just nice. Um, we do have a scoop in there, but it's just easy to be able to pour it from those. So that is something I didn't want to skimp on. The Walmart ones that I was thinking about getting that have the airtight containers did not have the the little top to open and I thought that was important for cereal and pancake mix. So these little buckets up here are from the Dollar Tree and this is kind of miscellaneous when we put all that random stuff. She can use that kind of for storage. Here we have crackers and chips. Again, these are all from the Dollar Tree. I got these off of Amazon. I'll link down below and then I used my label maker to put those on there. At first I was going to write but I don't have very good handwriting. I didn't like how it looked. Um, and then with the label maker, I just felt like the white didn't pop off of the white bins as well. So I just put these on the chalk labels. <clears throat> Over here we have sugar and powdered sugar. We need to get another one for her flour. Over here, because she has a one year old, we have her special baby oatmeal goldfish which this is super nice i need to get this for my pantry because our goldfish always goes bad even when we clip it so i thought this was perfect we have baby granola bars extra granola bars fruit and vegetable pouches and then all of the other baby foods and snacks rice and noodles breads we also threw in like the potatoes and tortilla shells you know all that kind of stuff um oh shoot i should have put the tortilla shells not that you just use them for tacos but um i guess they use those for wraps as well but they eat tacos a lot i mean don't we all so i made them a little taco bin um talk taco basket over here this was from the dollar tree these were from the Dollar Tree noodles, different types of noodles, rice, and then this is their oatmeal. Now, these aren't as, I mean, they're they're on there pretty well. And I know that air's not getting in there, but I don't, like, I wouldn't use these to put cereal or something that could go stale, if that makes sense. So, I mean, I don't think they're airtight, if that makes sense. But So I thought it would be perfect for rice and noodles and oatmeal. Their cans, I was going to get something to organize their cans, but honestly, I just felt like I was kind of like wasting money to get something just for the cans. And we didn't, she didn't want to use a basket for it because she wanted to be able to see what they have. And so since they have all of this room, I mean, not everyone has a pantry nice and big like this. They have the room. So it's like, I'm not, I wasn't going to get a can organizer and spend the money when it looks nice like this and they can see everything that they have. And then down here, oh, I still have to label there. 
um, paper products, paper products, baking, that basket's empty over there so they have that kind of as extras. And then down here we have paper towels and bottled water. So this is the pantry. Um, I'm gonna add everything else to it and I'll show you what the final, final product is. But I'm really happy with how all of this turned out and I think it looks really nice. I think it'll be sustainable because everything is labeled. So when they go to the grocery store, that's the other thing is you want to have places for everything. So when you go to the grocery store, instead of, you know, you're in a rush, um, instead of just throwing everything in here, you know exactly where to put it in the basket or where to line it up. I think that is the key to keeping things organized is having a home, knowing where it goes and yeah, I think this is going to work for them. And here is the finished product with a lot more room to put things. So they added some appliances up here that they don't use very often. It's a crack pot and instant pot. But yeah, everything else we were able to replace, to put somewhere else, get rid of, donate, all of that. So they have a lot more room to work with and a lot more storage space than they had before. And they still have these that are empty, um, that she has some little things that she's gonna throw in there. But yeah, this is the final product. So this is it. It's been a day full of cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. So if you need to tackle your pantry, know you can do it too. Take the steps that I did and organize your pantry on a budget. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what areas you wanna tackle and organize next. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell because I have a lot more organization videos coming here on my channel. I have a plan, I've been ordering things. So make sure you're subscribed and I will see you guys next time. Bye.